Our southern India odyssey with Scenic has brought us to the coastal state of Kerala. This area here is known as Kerala's backwaters. But the name doesn't do it justice. This truly is an Indian paradise. This network of rivers, lakes and canals has become Kerala's trademark and they stretch from one end of the state to the other. Traditionally used as one of the main methods of transport, nowadays they're mostly for the enjoyment of us tourists. Uh... A peaceful putt along the waterways against this serene backdrop is one of India's most magical experiences. Set amongst all of this natural splendour is Philip Cutty's farm, a family-run homestay, cooking school and working farm. Namaskara. Namaskara. <laughs> you live in paradise. This is so beautiful. Thank you. Can I have a look around? Yes. Oh, Please thank come. you. <laughs> This visit is one of Scenic's free choice options and from the moment we arrived, I knew we'd chosen well. I know this is a very special place. It's so wonderful. What brought you here besides the obvious beauty? Actually, um, after my marriage, I came here. It, this is actually an island. The farm was named after Anu's late husband's father and these days Anu continues to uphold the family dream. Uh, we have a farm also, um, mainly coconut plantation and we also uh, grow a lot of other intercrops in between the coconut trees like banana, um, spices like nutmeg. Recent floods mean many of the crops and surrounding vegetation have been destroyed. But slowly, Anu and her team have rebuilt this little piece of paradise. Mm. There's really no other place like this in India, is there? Um, this place is very special and unique. And this is completely away from the world. There's six Carolyn-style cottages to settle into, or as we're doing, can stop off for a day trip. There's also the most exquisite homemade lunch and a cooking lesson to try and recreate the experience back home. So what are we cooking today? So we are going to make a fish molly. Is um, that a fish curry? Um, yeah, fi uh, um, this curry, fish molly, we never say fish curry. This is called fish molly and this is with coconut milk. Oh, and from your coconut grove. Yeah, from our coconut. Oh, beautiful. So in goes the garlic. Yeah. And this fish molly we serve on special occasions, like for weddings. Anu tells me this signature dish has been passed down through generations. So it's really like staying at a friend's home when you come here, isn't it? You do some cooking, it's relax. It's like home away from home. <laughs> and what kind of fish is that, Anu? This is from the fresh water, from the lake. Um, sea bass. Could you use other types of fish any, as well? Any fish can be used. But this is one of the tastiest fish from the lake, from the fresh water. Oh, it's bubbling well, away. It looks delicious. All the fish pieces that has to be immersed in the coconut milk and allow it to cook for some time. Mm. That just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. While in Kerala, Scenic give guests the option of a night on board a luxury houseboat during their two-night special stay at the magnificent hotel Coconut Lagoon, set on one of India's largest inland lakes and only accessible by boat. step foot on this resort, a sense of calm prevails. Here, the old world charm of India and its ancient heritage is alive and well. Are you serving chai? Chai. <gasps> Masala chai. Chaya. I think I'm actually practically Indian. I love everything about their food, their culture, but especially the chai tea. It is sensational, especially when it's served in a boat. Well, I've actually never had it served in a boat, so we'll see. But I'm tipping it's sensational. <laughs> Thank 
you so much. Thank you. What a beautiful face you have. Mm. You make beautiful tea. Coconut Lagoon's cottages are individual works of art built from remains of old mansions that were once the homes of nobility.